You know, Chris and I have talked about this a lot, and, yeah. and we decided, after much debate, nothing really says summer like synchronized water skiing. Yeah, it's obvious. And frankly, if you're not with us, you should just ask the people of Scotia, New York. It's a little town near Albany. Yep, every Tuesday throughout the summer, the whole town comes out to watch the local water ski team put on a show worthy of Broadway or even Vegas. Definitely it actually Vegas. really is that good. Now, we sent early show contributor Tyler McGill to check it out. Tyler here with us right now to give us a full report of exactly what happened. It's good it, stuff. It was pretty amazing. Uh, Scotia, New York may be a small town, but on Tuesday nights, it becomes a show town. I got a chance to see this American tradition firsthand and even got a chance to get behind the boat myself. On the banks of the Mohawk River, behind Jumpin' Jacks, a 1952 roadside drive-in, famous for its two-tier Jack Burger, thousands of people line up to see a local show with big talent. We need braids, we need makeup nice and flashy tonight. The United States water ski team is the pride of the community. The all-volunteer team is made up of 76 members, ranging from 60-year-old pros to a smiling seven-year-old. Their costumes and ropes are all handmade, and their fans wouldn't have it any other way. You're seeing a Broadway show for free on the water every Tuesday night. This thing melts around, like it. Every week, the show starts exactly the same. Ladies and gentlemen, our island And it only gets better from there. One after another, the acts increase in size and splendor as a line of girls fly off the stage and literally dance on water. But for some, including the town's mayor, the show doesn't really get going until one thing happens. Our son What's the highlight of the show? The jumps. The jumps? Yeah, no, no question. <laughs> the men on the team make the death-defying jumps look as easy as a slice of roadside drive-in apple pie. So, I thought I'd give it a try. So what's the, uh, what's the game plan here? Earlier in the day, I had a lesson from the team's head honcho, Brad Benjamin. I uh, get you set in the skis, maybe do a little barefooting, a little jumping. You're not nervous about me jumping? <laughs> we started with the tricky art of barefooting. And that didn't go over so well. Naturally, we moved on to jumps. Going over the jump is, is just a little hurdle in the way. Uh, but it's Hold on, did you solid. just say, did you just say oh, the jump is just a little hurdle in the yeah, way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yep. course it is, of yep. course it is. Here we go. It feels a little... You're in. I don't want to do this. Here we go. The first one wasn't so pretty. But on the second go, I stomped it. Yeah! After proving I had what it takes, the team suited me up in one of its famous pink sequined leotards to perform in the big show. So I want you guys to put your hands together for CBS's Barry Ellen Tyler. I was feeling good. He's looking good out there in that pink jumpsuit. But as I neared the slippery ramp, he's over. Hello. The pressure proved too much. A round of applause for a job well done. Nicely done, Tyler. Fortunately, the crowd didn't seem to mind. But that might have been because the night's final and most anticipated act was up next. I kind of like the pyramid. <laughs> I want you guys to put your hands together for our final island pyramid. In a remarkable feat, 18 skiers take to the water to carefully form a four-tiered human pyramid. Girls begin to climb on top of each other with the smallest of them all, nine-year-old Emily, making her way to the very top. But as the sun began to set and the crowd eagerly waited, something happened for the first time all summer. The pyramid collapsed. But the crowd was forgiving. Well, folks, give them a round of applause for a valiant effort. And they all know, at least till fall, that there's always next Tuesday. 
<laughs> well, I think we know what set them off. Hello, first time all summer there was a problem. <laughs> the visual of you Tyler and Tyler McGill. Thing. I blew it. They saw that streaking <laughs> pink scene oh, and uh, uh, nobody could concentrate you anymore. You know, I know a lifeguard in Jones Beach named Roy. I think there might be a lawsuit in this for you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Nice job, though. Seriously, Thank you go very up much. that jump. That's no easy task. How about it? Yeah. I know it worked on this weekend. Yeah. And it doesn't. It's not a 